Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how the socketing system works in RPG Builder. This system is also coming in 1.0.3 version of RPG Builder, which is going to be out at the end of the month. So one of the first things you will want to do when you start using sockets and gems in RPG Builder is to create your own socket types, unless you want to use the demo ones, of course, which we are free to do so. But if you wanted to change those names or just use one or have as many as you want, you could go under settings, items and create your own socket types. That's pretty much it. All you have to do is hit save and you're going to be able to now use them in, um, in your items. So the second thing is split in two different steps. First, you will need to create your gem items. And these are similar items to that, which I predefined before the video. So here we have a small fire gem and a small shadow gem. Uh, those items are very simple. Uh, you can see if you start from scratch, for example, all you would have to do, which is important for the gem to work, is to select the item type to gem. And now you access the gem bonuses settings. And here you can now pick uh, one of your socket types that you created in settings and items, right? So that's where this comes in place. So going back here, um, item of type gem. Here we have the socket type. You can select whatever you want. And here you can start adding stats. Of course, as always, as many as you want. And here, if you wanted to add health, for example, you would just do that. Do the values that you want, save. And now this will be an item uh, of type gem, which you can now already uh, slot to your items. So let's look, uh, let's take a look at the fire one, for example, as you see, it's a small gem and it gives plus 10 fire damage. The small uh, shadow one is also a small gem and it gives 10 shadow damage. Okay, so that's all the gems we're going to be using for this video. No need to create new ones. Uh, the process is very quick. Now we need to add some uh, socket slots to a um, armor piece or weapon that we want to use uh, gems in, right? So in this case, I'm going to do it on the laser chest, which is uh, one of the item, um, one of the starting item for the warrior. So it's going to be a bit quicker. And here you see that armors and weapons now have the socket section in the um, item module. And this is very simple. Every time you click on this button, you will add a new socket slot and uh, you can add as many as you want. And each of those have their own socket type. Once again, these are the types you create in settings items. So here we can have, for example, one um, or let's say two small socket uh, slots, one medium and one big. If that's what we wanted for this item, right? We could literally just hit save now and uh, go in game. I'm going to see, I don't have a character, so I'm going to make a new one with THMSV. We go in game and now uh, we will take, we will unequip those items. And here you see that when we hover them, we don't have any information about sockets because they do not have any on them. But when we hover the laser chest that we just edited, we now see that below the stats, there is a text saying sockets. And below that for each, um, socket slot on this item it's going to show you the name or rather the type and what's in it in our case they are all empty so they are all grayed out now let's give ourselves some gems from the developer panel one shadow and one fire and we can now open the socketing panel now if i drag and drop this here or rather for example an item without any slot as you can see it's not showing anything but if I slot the um, laser chest, you see that we have all our uh, gems, uh, I mean socket slots here, right? So we have the two small one, one medium and big gem. Here, of course, these uh, gems are of type small, so we can't slot them in the medium or the big one, but we can slot them in the small ones. And here, if we now go ahead and click confirm, it's going to consume the gems. As you can see, they are now gone from our um, inventory and if you hover your item you can see that now um, the two first slots are not grayed out anymore it's still showing the socket type it is now also showing the name of the socket that's in it and it's also showing the bonus that it's giving um, below that so we can close this panel we could for example equip this um, armor piece now and you see that if we go to the stat we should now see plus 10 fire damage and plus 10 shadow 
so if we go to magical plus 10 indeed fire damage and plus 10 shadow damage which are gone if we uh, remove this item piece of course so that's pretty much it for this video it's very straightforward it's a smaller system than the enchanting extra it's much more straightforward but um, very useful nonetheless this gives you full freedom on how you customize your um, items as well as giving the same amount of freedom to your players so i think it's very fun remember that uh, stats in rpg builder can do all kind of things not just like some plain stats addition we have one stat here which is of type um effects so if you go here and uh you go all here effect trigger you see that this gives you uh, the uh, opportunity to trigger some uh, combat effects based on the stat and you can trigger as many as you want from these stats. So a quick example for that would be, let's say you want your character to have a stat that gives him a, a chance to uh, apply a burn effect on the target when he hits or something like this. So a dot in this case, you will, you know, create these stats and each point in this stat will give you 1% chance to trigger this effect. And on top of that, this effect also has a chance. So for example, you could have a chance to, this stat could give you a chance to do instant damage, maybe 100%, and then 25% chance to also apply a dot or something. And this is up to you when you choose on hit, on kill. But anyway, that's not really the topic of this video. This was just to let you know that uh, sockets, for example, or even enchantments could um, also have their own like effect trigger. So they could tr help you to trigger some specific effect and combat action in game based on your stats. So yeah, if you have any question, uh, if you have any feedback or suggestions, as always, let me know in the comments or on Discord or even by email. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.